setting about the task of connecting the universe is no easy task. It has a lot of ups and downs and a lot of trials and tribulations. You never really know what's coming next, although you can kind of assume and guess you're never going to get it every time, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I tell you, you can do it with a little bit of effort, and it really only is a little bit of effort. But the we well, have to love it. If you love it, it's a little bit of effort. It's a lot of fucking effort, man. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a lot of effort. It is a lot of damn work. It's not being afraid of who you are, what you consume. Shame is a destructive aspect of our drug culture. I think consumption... To be a consumer, you consume alcohol, you consume marijuana, you consume apples, you consume high fructose corn syrup. What do you consume? I found a pretty nice spread where it's an array. Uh, I've got my bong and my pot. And uh, the only problem with that is smoking. You know, my, my voice when I'm like... Uh, <laughs> Higher and higher, like when you really want to go up, but like, I mean, you go way, and like really support it, but then as soon as you start, well, as soon as I start smoking, you know, as great as it is for my psychology, that one aspect, which is my singing voice, takes a hit. It sucks. It's like, you really need a refined uh, procedure to turn my body into a musical instrument. A lot of working out and this and that. But you know, the way I am, I like to do something full force. I wanna, you know, most people I think wanna do something, they do it and then they're done. I like to do it a, a lot for a long time to really understand this thing. Like why am I, I'm not gonna do it unless I'm gonna do it for real. So I tend to have that behavior with a lot of things I do. Such is, it's a, uh, I guess I consider it a strength. It's interesting. I've, I get some feedback. You know, I always thought of myself as like uh, someone with a extremely long attention span, just because I would sit down and play video games for twelve hours or endlessly. Basically, I could pick up the controller and play for like twenty-four hours straight without getting food or sleeping remotely using the bathroom. Um, I could pick up a book and read it for like 20 chapters, like go to sleep on at any moment. I could just go to sleep and then just sleep until I have to wake up. And then I wake up. Um, you know, exploring the, the root of the problem right now, my attention's so focused on the world fuckery, like dudes own the Federal Reserve, they own the Bank of International Settlements that sells the money to the energy companies, which they also own, that are producing the energy, which are producing the food, which is controlling the population. And, and then there's the entertainment industry, there's the media, the internet, they're trying to push net neutrality to kind of squeeze the internet, but it's like, That's my attention is on that. And it's like, I can see it kind of clear, but like, do I have an answer? I don't know. Economic answer. We could, if the people take control of their government and realize that they are the government, we could take the money, print our own currency, give it the value of the Federal Reserve note, basically buy the Federal Reserve off with U.S. currency. Basically, we could tell the Federal Reserve to fuck themselves. The U.S. military speaks and pay off our debts to every foreign country that we have debts to at like a 100th ratio. Like we can't pay off 17 or 80 trillion, so we'll pay off what we can, which is like 100 billion or, or whatever, a trillion. And that is what the American taxpayer will do. That will be the, what we, our punishment, if you will, or our payback, it's what we have to do for the world is pay back our debts but we don't have to pay back some private corporation's debts. My argument would be that it's illegal 
but they've written an amendment that Congress is in charge of the money, except we're in charge of the money right now. Gets one dude to sign it into law, you know, it's like, no, no, no. The governments are built to control their own currency. Other answers, man, to the dolphin killings, to Fukushima. Maybe we can pour gold, try to just make a Kickstarter and just fucking see what happens. What if we put platinum in and it fused into gold? Would that be better than putting gold in? What's more valuable, platinum or gold? Well, we're connecting the universe. I need your help to a computer, you know, camera. And I expect like there's gonna be some sort of return. God, I need your help. Oh, I need it. But it's like, yes, I can beg and squeeze and writhe around, but if I really need help, I need to help myself by eating healthy foods and taking care of my body and working out and stretching and drinking enough water and being healthy. And then the energy will be healthy and so a healthy energy will come back in the form of help. I think I figured that out like six years ago and I've just been crying in my sleep trying to deal with it because like part of me just wants to fucking live. I thought, you know, when I was 17, 18, I thought when I was 25, I thought, you know what this life is going to be? It's going to be fun. It's going to be a, a lot of work. Maybe have a job in a life for a while, but then it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to make a lot of money and have a lot of things and make a lot of people laugh. That was my goal and that was my dream. And I was 80 years old and I was a famous actor and end of story. Then all of a sudden you, I heard about the Federal Reserve isn't actually a federal agency. And, you know, that was kind of like, ah, you know, 9-11, the buildings came down. It was like, actually, those that might have been a controlled demolition. I'm like, oh, what? And, you know, all the NSA stuff and the CIA. The CIA killed Martin Luther King. Really? Like, there's a, actually like a court case that rules in favor of the King family saying that the U.S. government was involved in the assassination in 2001, I think, or two. Crazy shit. Life wasn't just a happy, fun time. It's, it's a lot more work than that. Although maybe we can build a system so that it can be happy, fun time for everyone. But then like, look at the pigs that are in the cages. It's not happy, fun time for them. So what about the trees that we're cutting down in Brazil? It's not happy, fun time for them. For the earth, is it happy, fun time for the earth right now? Could it be? I guess we can work together to help ourselves. And yeah, we can communicate, which I've been doing. I, I've been typing to you, but you know, Stephen, uh, you guys, Greg, like there's not enough of this, this, this one-on-one -on -one talking, is there? The, the, the YouTube videos are fun, but like then it gets real when we get in video chat, when we start talking like real time. That's what it's about. And before I even turn this video on, I'm like, I used to have a purpose. I got on and the reason that I would get on uh, Stick'em or like a video chat service was because I had a purpose. I wanted to convey a message and I wanted to help people by letting them convey a message and listening. And then, you know, whatever, offering my wisdom or my, my beliefs or understandings, if I could. But the most important thing was to listen, to hear them. And uh, I'm going to admit, it was a lot to handle. I've got, I've said this enough times, but I'll say it now in clarity. I was scared of the whole fucking ordeal. But I still, even with that fear of impending doom which may or may not come, but realistically, let's see, can you name a human that didn't die? Obviously, all the humans that are alive right now, and maybe we'll develop technology so that we never die. That would be something, wouldn't it? We can, but do you want to? 
I want to. I want to live till I'm a thousand, at least, and then renegotiate from there and see if I want to live longer. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Why not? Especially in this state of youth, if we could do something like that. But why? To, to accomplish a lot of things. Health and government. I look at like the CIA and the, the government and this like opposing dark forces like this convex, this concave, basically C-shaped black and blue luminescent sh shade like light. Like there's a white crescent with like a blue black ground, a black ground. And it's this imposing nonsense. It's an unknown force basically, but I see, I just... I picture these guys in, in suits at their desk, you know, I picture like Evelyn Rothschild. And these guys run the show right now. They are they're they own 80% of the wealth in the world, more or less. Like they own the money. They own it. This is their money. This is it belongs to some people. Like, how are we going to change the system without fucking them over? develop a technology that helps everyone. And then it's like, do you trust it, you know? Do you trust another person with unlimited power? If you don't, we're doomed. You have to trust. And that's a, that's like saying you have to be over there. Like it's not really helpful to say you have to trust. Because like, yeah, okay, I can, t I can, I can give you a goal, but like the real thing would be for me to help you how to get to that goal, how, how to help you to trust. I trust you. It's not about the money. It's not about the people. It's about love and life. These, these human words aren't enough. It's about learning other languages so I can express myself in other ways in this redundancy. Redundancy, redundancy. It's about staying calm and having fun because everything okay all along purpose and focus wrapping my head around an idea until it gets so tight that I can't even scream well my screensaver just went on, so the video might have got choppy. I just got to remind myself that making a video like this, it takes me five to ten minutes, but it can provide thousands of hours of action from eight minutes of work. And that's a pretty awesome spirit or job or, or goal or activity or whatever you want to call it, which is why I encourage you to make videos because a little bit of work you do can affect so many thousands of man hours of people, of things. Oh, it's so important. We're connecting pathways like neurons and it's so important that you're involved. So, so, so. For one way I can look at it and not be stressed and the other way I'm like Trans Pacific Partnership is right around the corner. They want to, the corporations want to pass laws so that they can sue governments for trying to stop them from like cutting down forests. There's, there's things in this Trans Pacific Partnership that Obama is apparently backing that Barack, you fucking retard, what are you doing this for by the way? Tell me. And it's supposed to give corporations the ability to sue a government if the government tries to deny them profits based on ecological reasons. So like if you want to protect your ecosphere, but it hinders profits like fracking or logging or genetically modifying crops, soil, pumping, you know, Agent Orange or whatever the hell Monsanto is going to come up with next into the soil. Trans-Pacific Partnership cannot go through. It's insanity. There's there's like all these, there's other ones, there's a NAFTA, these other trade organizations that are like, they call it free trade, is the term they, they dish out to the American people. To the to, I can't even stand this term American people, it's driving me nuts. You know, South American people. 
they're American people also. Amerigo Vespucci is, is fucking laughing how much his name gets fucking thrown around. The people have been told that they're free trade agreements when basically it, it frees up the people that are own the money and running, you know, the money games to do whatever they want or make it easier for them to get do stuff without getting fucked by the people that don't have as much money. Even though the people that don't have as much money may be smarter. So we need to make sure that they don't pass cheap legislation that we're going to have to undo. We just stop it before it goes up. 